guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a look at the Sense user interface on the HTC HD Mini. This experience is supposed to be very similar to what you'll find on the HD2. We're going to compare parts of the Sense interface um, in this video, but in the next video we're going to go more in depth comparing the HD2 with the HD Mini. So let's start off by uh, turning on the device. And we have this new unlock screen, which is not nearly as usable as the one you get in standard Windows Mobile 6.5. It shows you indicators on the bottom, and it should come back here, about how many text messages you have, how many emails you have, but you can't action on them like you can in Windows Mobile 6.5. In 6.5, if you have a new email, you can slide on the email. It will take you directly into the email application. On the HD Mini, that is not the case. So right off the bat, we have the nice weather animation, which comes from uh, HTC's newer devices. It knows where you are using the, the, uh, the GPS, and it will show you the weather and the conditions in this particular area. And of course, I can tap on the clock, and it shows me the world clock. It can also show me uh, my alarm clock over here. And it's really interesting to see how these soft keys look down here. Again, this is Windows Mobile 6.5.3. As a comparison, if we look at the HD2 running 6.5.3, we see that there's a start button in the bottom left corner. And even if we tap over to another um, part of Sense, the favorite people tab, we still get the start menu down there. On the HD Mini, uh, you cannot get to the start menu unless you tap the hardware button down here, which I guess is okay. They're trying to save on space a little bit. So we zoom in some more. Uh, if we tap on the conditions, we're taken to the weather tab. We've seen this before. And we can flick through different areas. Let's go back over to the left. Now, we don't get that much information on the screen like we get on the HD2. On the HD2, in this particular screen, you get to see your three quick links, your next appointment, and everything else that you get to see on the HD Mini. But because this is a low-resolution screen, which, by the way, really shows in some programs, text looks really bad, you don't get to see that much on the screen. You have to flick up to see your quick links, which is a little bit annoying, and of course you can you can add and remove them. You can add programs, contacts, or bookmarks, which is quite convenient. Uh, but it's, this is stuff that we've seen on other versions of Sense. It's just not as, not as nice because of the lower resolution screen. So if we go over to the People tab, we have the quick, quick links here that allows you to quickly dial someone that you contact on a regular basis. We have SMS over here, which you can flick through. Normal stuff that we've gotten on the Sense interface. And of course, we can go to Menu, and we can action on these right from this screen without having to dig into the, the text messaging application for Windows Mobile. We can go into Email, and you can flick through and see the different emails. You can action on them right from here. So again, you don't actually have to go into uh, your email application. This is a new feature for Sense. You don't have to. Uh, you can spend a lot of your time on the Home tabs instead of going into the actual applications. We can go into the Internet tab, and from here we can launch the browser, or we can set up these quick links to quickly launch a website. Because this is a capacitive multi-touch screen, there is pinch to zoom in the Opera browser, and we're going to talk more about that uh, in another video. Over here we have the HTC Calendar, which does an awesome job at showing you your appointments. You can flick through to Month View, go back to Agenda View, and change things um, over there. Here we have the listing of stocks. We've seen this before. Over here we've got some, uh, some photos, but if you go into landscape, nothing happens. Um, you don't really get the graphical power that you get on the HD2, so I don't think HTC could do that really fancy animation where in the, in the Photos tab you get that nice transition into the landscape view. Over here we have the Music tab. We've seen this a million times. You can go into your library and get this nice looking sense interface to go through your artist and your albums. And these, these icons are actually kind of new for this device, I think. They're very colorful. All right, let's go back. Here we have Weather. We have Twitter integration, of course. This is HTC's Twitter client, Peak, which does a pretty good job. Uh, it can automatically update. You can see your at replies. You can see your messages and your favorites right from your home screen without digging in anywhere. We have HTC Footprints, and you can flick through. I don't think anybody really uses this, but it's a nice feature if you travel. You can tap on one of these things. It flips over. It will geotag a picture, and you can also set a voice note to it or coordinates or things like that. Again, good if you travel. If you don't travel, it really isn't something you'll use too much. And over here, we have some settings. We're going to go through the settings in a second. But let me open up the, the notification area up here. So if you tap and hold, 
you get this notification area. And new to this version of Sense is that you get a link to the task manager within uh, the notification area. So right now I can see all the applications I've opened. Um, some of these I forgot to close, so they're taking up memory, like the camera application is using up 4.18 megabytes. So I'd probably want to close that. But the device isn't really slowing down right now. It has plenty of RAM for, for what it is, through about 384 megabytes of RAM. And you can probably tell uh, by me just using it right now, it's not getting slow even though I have several programs open. Okay, so let's go back to the settings here and we can personalize some of the things. We can personalize the home, home screen wallpaper by doing either the wet, weather wallpaper or animated wallpaper. They've got some really bright ones here, so I'm going to choose this one. Lock screen wallpaper, we can change that too. This is the standard kind of new age HTC Sense wallpaper. We can change the font size, though oddly it doesn't seem like clear type is on um, at all. Let me show you why I think that. Let's go back home, you see the new wallpaper. If you look at these icons up close, they look very blurry. Or anywhere that you see text in the operating system, it's just, it's not clear. Let me bring up a message. Okay, here I brought up a message and text is just not very nice looking. And let me bring this up on the HD2. We can compare them side by side and you'll see what I mean. I think the HVGA screen is just way too low resolution uh, for a device like this. Okay, so here we are side by side and I'm, I'm zoomed out all the way. So I did a, a pinch to zoom out and look at the text here. And then look at the text here. Much darker over here, smoother, easier on the eyes. But on the HD Mini, not so much. And again, these graphics down here also don't look very clear. I think that's an issue with the low resolution screen, something that you'll have to get used to. Another place where you really get to see the low res resolution screen is up here in the notification area. Look at the, look at the Wi-Fi icon, I'll try to focus it. Can you see the Wi-Fi icon? It looks horrible. It looks like a device from three or four years ago. Um, but that's okay, maybe that doesn't matter that much to you. Let's go through some other areas of the Sense interface. So I'm gonna to go to Call History. And here we have the Sense interface nicely integrated with the contacts. So we can slide our finger to the right and go to Groups, Call History, Updates and Events. It will integrate with Facebook. We can see our groups of people. We can go to our favorites and so on. So very nice integration of the Sense interface with the slider along the bottom. You get a lot of that throughout a lot of the operating system, um, whether you're in the calendar, or in certain other areas of the operating system. So that was a look at the Sense interface on the HTC HD Mini. I really don't think HTC captured the Sense interface found on the HD2 because of this low resolution screen and also because it doesn't have all of the interesting animations that you'll find on the HD2 such as the cool um, slideshow view and other things like that. So it's basically an HD2 half of the way there, but perhaps that's what HTC was going for. So that's it for now. Please give a thumbs up on the video if you liked it, and we'll be back soon for more. That's it for now.